This is Pastor Doug Van, and I'm here in Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm here with my great friend, uh, Denison Grellman, and he is serving as the director for ADRA New Zealand. Denison, welcome to the show. What Thank does you. ADRA stand for? ADRA stands for the Adventist Development and Relief Agency. And so what are you guys doing, some of the programs that you're doing to serve uh, your community here in New Zealand? We have a whole range of programs that we have developed in partnership with the conferences and the local churches. Um, we have programs that have to do with family issues. Um, we have one, for instance, that we call Welcome Baby, that is a clothing library. We have a budget um, program where the families learn how to prepare their household budgets, how even to go for a mortgage and, and financial things. We also have um, initiatives that have to do with different target groups like the youth, that is a, a youth resilience program. And we work very closely with the health department for different health initiatives, creation, um, the CHIP program we call it, and, and also other initiatives that have to do with emotional health. Well, very good. That really sounds comprehensive. That's just like how Jesus served uh, at that time uh, when he was on earth here. He was able to minister to the needs of the people and then also invite them to be uh, his disciples. Now, Denison, I'm really uh, interested in some, uh, learning more. Uh, can you tell one story about uh, one of these initiatives? Okay, I'll tell you uh, one story, and that story is about Tony. Tony had a pretty rough um, upbringing. She was involved in, in drugs and in sexual exploitation and different things like that. And eventually she actually ended up in prison uh, for mur murdering somebody. And um, so she had a pretty rough time. But then um, after serving for a few years at the, the prison, she um, walked out and, and didn't really have a place to stay. So she was actually uh, taken by a shelter and there she learned life skills through the solutions um, program that we have and, and, and then eventually became a facilitator in that program as well. So her whole life actually changed and she became a central leader in that particular community. So that's just maybe one example of uh, different initiatives that are happening and that came out of the solutions program. Right. Wow, that's a great example uh, of how you're actually able to then meet a, a need of those who maybe are marginalized in our society and actually uh, through that process and partnership uh, to actually uh, make a difference and to actually have Tony now helping to serve others. And so that's so great. Uh, I just wanted to now know, um, do you have another story of, uh, of another one that uh, you'd like to share? Sure, I, I do have the story of Jason, okay. and Jason also had a pretty rough life. Um, he was actually one of the uh, drug dealers around the Auckland region, and um, so he was always, again, involved in different things and, and gang crime and that sort of stuff. Eventually, he um, came very close to uh, a program that we call Solid Community, mm -hmm. and, and, and in that program, different people from different places come together and, and through actually kickboxing, mm -hmm. um, they learn different life skills and, and they learn how to respect each other and they also learn about Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Jason changed his life completely. He's actually now a member at the Papatoi Church and we together we have a, a, a soccer club for, for our kids and he's one of the coaches coaches there as well. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the great transformation that Jason also had in his life. Well, thank you for sharing. That's an awesome story of how God, uh, when we as a church in partnership with, uh, you know, ADRA uh, are able then to meet the needs in the community and then actually uh, see that uh, transformation, that ignition of how God actually transforms a life. And that's what the gospel is all about. And that's why he's called us to help be those hands and feet in the communities where uh, we are at and including our cities. Uh, Denison, what are some of the dreams that you have uh, for future expansions? Because it sounds like you've got some really creative, um, you know, uh, initiatives that are going on that are actually planning to meet the needs. So what are some of those uh, for the future that you guys are dreaming to implement? We're really hoping to empower the um, churches more and more to actually really understand the needs of their communities around and then develop 
initiatives that will meet those needs. So we want to empower them so then they can come up with actually what is relevant for that community, not just us maybe sharing what we think we should, they should do, but uh, more um, what is really relevant for that community. And we're also wanting to uh, partner with uh, the conference and the union and the local churches uh, for um, centers of influence. And we want to see how we can be um, instrumental in, in that uh, as well. So we're talking about perhaps having a center of influence here in Auckland mm -hmm. and um, it's still in the sort of uh, the design phase but we're hoping to very soon have um, a place where there is a lot of transformation and discipleship happening um, as part of a partnership with the different ministries of our church. Right. Thank you, Dennison, for sharing, and that's awesome. And we'll continue to uh, pray for you and the team here at ADRA, as well as this great city of 1.4 million people here in Auckland, New Zealand. And I just want to say thank you to our viewers that uh, for your prayers and not only for uh, with Dennison and the partners here in the community, but also for all of our cities around the world. This has been Pastor Doug Van, and thank you for watching and reporting live here from Auckland, New Zealand with Mission 360. Thank you.